I bought a brand new Xbox Series X console, and in this video, we're going to see what happens when you put a foreign disc in it. We're also going to try a bunch of various experiments that I think you guys will enjoy. Now, we'll get into the PlayStation, Nintendo, and just other mystery games later in this video. We'll start with the Xbox games, put them in, just see if they work. So I have a Series X, Xbox One, Xbox 360, and OG Xbox, and we'll start with the, the OG Xbox here, which <laughs> I think is actually the one game that won't work. I'm like 90% sure that the OG Xbox Halo does not work on the Series X, which is pretty disappointing. And yeah, literally two seconds later, it starts making a grinding noise and tells me that I need to go to xbox.com slash backcompat to actually find a list of games we can play. So let's go ahead and take that out and we'll try out the 360 game next. And there we go. That's what's supposed to happen on an actually backwards compatible game. It starts installing. It's got the cool Xbox 360 graphics there. Let's go ahead and eject it, try out the Xbox One and Series X game and verify those work. Now, no surprise there, the Xbox Series X and Xbox One game works installing. Um, now, next up, we're going to start getting into our uh, experiments part of the video. And we're going to try to see what happens when you put a floppy disk inside of your Xbox Series X. Now, obviously, there's no native slot for your floppy disk in your Xbox Series X, so we need this adapter right here, which we already have a floppy disk in it. It has, like, one megabyte of storage, and we just got to plug it into the USB port and see what it does. All right, so got it plugged in, and it's not lighting up. There's no noise, no nothing. What? Why is this actually, I'm actually surprised this is not working. Yeah, trying the back USB as well and it's still not doing anything, which is surprising because on the PS4 and PS5, it, it starts reading it as external storage, which is awesome that you could you could use a floppy disk on your PS4, PS5, so that's not doing anything. Uh, now next up, I do have an external disk drive. Uh, <laughs> let me just plug this in and see what happens. All right, let's see, does it eject? So that's interesting. This one actually does have power and it's ejecting. Let me go ahead and put it in, put in this uh, OG Xbox game and see what it does. Okay, got it in there. It's definitely reading up. I, I, it's not gonna show anything on the screen, but I wonder, I wonder actually if you go to the system storage, I wonder if it'll show you anything under storage devices here. Let me check. And no, it just always shows internal storage. So I don't know what it's doing. I don't know why it's, why it's reading or where the data is going to, but oh well, I don't know. Let's go ahead and unplug it and uh, we'll move on to the PlayStation games next. All right, I got my stack of PlayStation games here. And let's go ahead and start with the, this Japanese PSP game here and see if it fits in the slot. I always love trying these to see if it actually fits. And this one fits in the first slot. It doesn't fit through the second slot. <laughs> I, if it fit in there, it would be... Oh, that's a dangerous game. It's going to get stuck in there. But next up, we'll try out Tarzan for the PS1. And this is where things are going to start getting a little bit interesting. Uh, we're going to see just how the Series X reacts. If it gives me an error message, if it actually tries to play something, gives me a splash screen. Uh, okay, play disc. So it wants me to install the... Windows Media Player. <laughs> is it going to try to like actually play this game? I don't know what's happening with this Xbox, but <laughs> I've been trying to install the Microsoft Store and Media Player for like 10 minutes now. I've restarted the console, restarted the downloads. It just told me that the Media Player was ready, even though it's still in the queue. I, let's just try it, I guess. Okay, so I guess the Media f the media Player is working. So I still have the PS1 game in here. It boots up the Media Player, and then it kicks me out again. No surprise there, PS1 game's not working, but that was just, it kind of just sent my Xbox into a frenzy. I guess the PlayStation doesn't want you to play their games on the Xbox. They're, that might not be true soon, but let's go ahead and try out the PS2 game. Oh, okay, that was quick. It says, make sure you're using an Xbox One game, music CD, or a movie on Blu-ray or DVD. Eject the disc and try again. Now, we'll try out the uh, the PS3 game here. No error message, no nothing. Let me just spit it back out. And next up, we'll try out, uh, personally, my favorite game of all time. We have uh, this rare copy of Big Chungus featuring Dante from Del the Devil May Cry series by Hello Games. Um, and just in case you didn't know, uh, the fitness gram pacer test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that gets more difficult, difficult as it continues. continues. Now, uh, opening this thing up, we have a map in here of the game. We got things like, you know, Europe, Asia, Austria, and uh, South America. We got Owen Owen America, uh, only Nada is here. We're missing the other, the other half of Canada. I don't really know why. Let's go ahead and put the disc in, see if it works. Oh, of course, now it just stopped. Let me, let me just let you guys hear this again. Man, I'll give it to it. It's trying hard, but no luck on biggest Big Chungus. I really wish they would bring Big Chungus to the Xbox. Really sucks. I gotta put it on my PS4. All right, next up we got another PS4 game. We got Gran Turismo Sport. Let's try that out. Okay, this one's the same as the PS3 game where it just like spins forever, <laughs> never does anything. And last but not least for the PlayStation games, we have the medium for the PS5. You know, my guess is that it's gonna be the same as the PS3 and PS4 where it just spins forever, but maybe we get lucky and it'll. Uh, kind of just refute it by telling me it's a PS5 game, not a Series X game. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, this thing's, it's, it sounds smooth. It's running at full speed, trying to read the game, but, you know, same as PS3 and PS4, no dice. Let's go ahead and put that to the side. Move on to our next experiment, and this one's going <laughs> to, is going to get weird. So, uh, let's put this Xbox Series X to the side here and pull out my uh, <laughs> kind of already pre-mutilated Xbox Series X and... 
and basically, in case you guys don't know, this uh, Series X is from about a year ago when I made a cardboard Xbox Series X. It, yes, it was literally made out of cardboard with all these guts inside of it. Uh, but I pulled all these out. And we're going to use this Xbox here to run some tests. So let me go ahead and turn off this Xbox, plug this one in, and we'll get started. Do you want a free game like Call of Duty Black Ops, Mario Kart, or Super Smash Bros? Well, if you do, hit that link down below, sign up for whatnot. You'll get any of my games under $15, 100% free. No tax, no shipping, 100% free. So go check it out. Got a bunch of other games as well. And I'll see you guys there. And for this one, we're going to put a disc in here, and then I'm going to unplug <laughs> unplug the disc drive. Whoop, what's going on? There we go. Okay. <laughs> but as I was saying, we're going to put a disc in here, and then while the game is playing, we're going to unplug it and just uh, see what the Xbox does. So guys, as I was trying to complete this experiment uh, on the torn down Xbox, you know, unplugging the disc drive while it was playing, I kind of unintentionally did another experiment where uh, basically I was trying to update this console, and it got stuck in the update and got to the troubleshooter, and I basically could not do anything. It, all I could do is restart. And I found out that I had the basically this USB piece, the USB and sync button um, are connected by this ribbon cable. And I found out I had the ribbon cable plugged in backwards and it was like on fire, like like hot to the touch. When I touch it, it's like boiling almost. Um, yeah, I'm guessing that messed up my Xbox somehow. I don't know. Maybe I just need to let it, let it cool off for a while. But we're going to go ahead and <laughs> complete the experiment with my brand new Xbox that I now have opened up. And uh, yeah, so I have Star Wars, uh, the Skywalker Saga installed. We'll go ahead and boot it up and just unplug it while it's playing and see what happens. All right guys, booted into the game and basically what we're gonna do here is, let me just show you what happens first when you just normally eject a game. So yeah, so it just says the person needs to, who bought this needs to sign in. Uh, so right now I'm signed into a profile that doesn't have Game Pass because if I did have Game Pass, this game would be working without the disc, which I ran into that issue earlier. We're past that now though. So let's go ahead and boot this back up. Come on, come on Xbox. There we go. All right, so back in the main menu, you can see I can scroll around. So we're gonna start by just taking out the SATA cable here, which, uh, We'll just see what it does. I I don't know. Now, of course, all the data is actually coming off the SSD. Like, the disk is not doing anything right now except for basically saying, yes, you own the game and you have the game. But, yeah, right now, just, like, nothing's happened. I'm still playing with the disk. There's no data connected to the Xbox. Let me go, to, go ahead and try to unplug the power now and see if that changes anything else. So data and power are both out now, and it's still playing. Let me just wait until I load another scene and see what happens. Interesting. Okay, so it's just working without an issue here. Uh, I wonder... If I can press the eject button now and see what it does. Weird. Okay, so now, now that the, the, the disk drive is not connected at all, the disk drive thinks there's no disk in the system, which makes sense. But it's kind of like, it's almost like a workaround here that you can, <laughs> it, let's say you go to your buddy's house, you want to take his, go, his, his game home, play it on your Xbox, you put the Xbox game in, you download it, install it and everything, and then you disconnect the, the disk drive, pull your disk drive out, manually take the game out, give it back to him. Uh, now the problem is here is I guess whenever I, let's see if I go back home, can I boot this back up? Yeah, it still plays. Uh, I'm guessing now if I go back home and actually quit the game and try to boot it up again, it, it won't work. Or will it? Hold on. I guess you can just play. Oh, well, nope, there it was. There it was. It told me I needed to sign in. Okay, so there, <laughs> now it's broken. So next up here, we're going to try out some Nintendo games. I have first uh, N64 game, GameCube, Wii, Wii U, uh, N64, you know. Man, wouldn't it actually like be so cool if you have a device where you could plug into a USB port? plug in your cartridge and then it plays on the device. There's actually, you know, that there, there is that device for your PC, but obviously this is not going to fit the disk drive, unfortunately. So let's move on to the GameCube game. And this is, <laughs> oh, this is where things get a bit sketchy. Um, let's do the GameCube game last on the, <laughs> on the console here. Let's go at the Wii game first, see what that does. The GameCube game is always sketchy. It's a small disk. A lot of times it'll get stuck and you're kind of, you got to like actually take your disk drive all the way apart, which I really do not want to do right now. But yeah, let's try out the Wii, Wii disk first. So it looks like the Wii disk is another one of those where it just straight up does nothing. It just spins forever. It's definitely spinning in there trying to read, but it's just not showing me any, any errors or anything. I'll try out the Wii U disk as well. My guess is the Wii U disk will probably do the same thing as the Wii, but you never know. But this one just kind of just infinitely spins. Yeah, nothing. All right, we'll eject that. And I guess let's go ahead and try out our try out our GameCube game now. Now there is supposed to be a manual eject on the Series X. I've never tried it before, so I don't know how it works, but we're gonna go ahead and just risk it for the biscuit here. Let's go ahead and put the GameCube game in. Yep, it happened. No. Wait, 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 wait. Come on, come on, come on. Crap. Crap. It happened. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, let's go. That was weird. It was telling me <laughs> the noise told me there was no game inside, but the mechanism. Still spat it out. Let me try one more time. I'm gonna get away from doing this again. So it pulls it in. It spins like crazy. It thinks there's no game inside, but still sticks it, puts it out. So, hey, props to you, Xbox. You can accept a mini disc here. And <laughs> unlike the PS4 and PS5. All right, so that's it for that one. Um, our next test 
is we're gonna try to see how long we can play without a fan plugged in. But we'll boot Star Wars back up and basically as we're playing, I'm gonna unplug the fan and just kind of count down and see how long I can play without a fan. So the game's booted up and I'm playing. We're gonna go ahead and start and luckily it's pretty easy. You just gotta unplug this one cable here and the fan will be disconnected. All right, and the fan is out. Yep, and I don't feel any more air coming out the top. Uh, let's go ahead and give a little temperature test on the heat sink here. Okay, it's a, a little hot, but not terrible. Let's keep playing though. Oh, there it is. All right, so we got a full four and a half minutes. Uh, keep the console cool. Like other electronic devices, the Xbox will overheat without proper ventilation. I actually like how it gives you an entire list of, of things to try um, to get your game to launch again. Let me go ahead and plug it back in while this message is on and see if it'll boot back up. Oh. Wow, <laughs> kind of plugged in. I have never heard the Xbox's fan go that fast and there's a ton of heat coming out. But by the way, guys, don't try any of these things at home. I mean, just like, you know, this is not smart. But we're booted back up pretty quickly and the Xbox's fan is actually all the way back down. After like 20 seconds, it's already back down to a normal volume which is interesting, I guess it dissipated enough heat that quickly. But yeah, let's go ahead and move on to our next test, which is uh, we're gonna try out some more games here. So we're actually onto some of the, uh, <laughs> the kind of miscellaneous stuff now. So first of all, I have a copy of iCarly, the complete third season, disc two. This came from either the Texas Leather or Hampton Hall at some point. This is a DVD, so it should work, but let's plug it in and see what happens. Oh, I completely forgot. There's a, <laughs> you gotta <laughs> install a Blu-ray player, great. Oh, oh, there it goes. Okay, finally after, <laughs> Pausing, canceling, and installing about eight times. It finally, <laughs> finally installed apparently. All right, let's go back to the main menu, try to play the disc and see. Okay, the disc just, the disc is the Blu-ray player now. Okay, let's see what happens. There we go, it's booting up. And guys, I mean, I'm no Sony pony, but the X Xbox experience these days makes me want to be a Sony pony. It's just so, just so miserable sometimes. It just does not work. Uh, all right, so DVD works, no surprise there. Now next up we got Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. And you know, this thing is, Branded as basically Windows, so you would think that something happens here. Well, let's see. Or not. I, I mean, I guess at least immediate, it immediately recognizes it's not the right disc. So Xbox One, Music CD, Movie, Blu-ray, blah, blah, blah. All right, we'll eject that. Anybody else, dude, Scholastic Store? Did anybody else buy PC games from the Scholastic Store in like elementary school? Whew, good times. All right, next up we got a classic <laughs> Adam Sandler, Billy Madison uh, HD DVD. This movie is actually hilarious. I haven't seen it in quite a while. I need to go back and watch it. Nope, nothing. It just... It's just like trying to spin up and spins down, spins up, spins down. So no surprise there. It is kind of sad how HD DVD dropped off the face of the earth. Now next up we got a Blu-ray. Um, actually, we'll try out, we'll just go straight to 4K Blu-ray. So no surprise, 4K Blu-ray is booting up. Uh, now next up we have, <laughs> we're gonna go back to the experiment phase. And I have a very strange experiment that I don't think will work at all, but uh, uh, let's try it. So I have an Xbox 360 disk drive, and if you notice, it has the exact same power port and SATA port as the Series X disk drive, at least I think it does. So we're gonna try to just straight up swap it and just uh, see what happens. Okay, so I figured out that the SATA, the power cable here actually has one pin missing that's on the 360, so it won't plug in, but I do have the SATA power cable from the 360. Okay, cool, it plugged in, <laughs> it plugged in there. Let's go ahead and plug in our data here. Okay, it's all plugged in. All right, not doing anything yet. Let me go ahead and press the eject button. Oh. Man, that would have been legendary. Of course, it's a completely different PCB, completely different circuit, different system, so it's not surprising, but I was actually hoping that somehow, some way, you press the eject button and it ejects the 360 drive, that would just, you know, be icing on the cake here. All right, now last but not least, I got a throwback for you guys. If you guys remember the OG days of the foreign disc uh, videos, we're gonna see what happens when you put some money in the disc drive, <laughs> try to treat it like a vending machine, see if it accepts our dollar bill. So we'll start, we'll start small, we'll start with a one dollar bill, put it in the disc drive, see if it'll try to accept it. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. It's going. Oh, 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 wait, wait, hold on. It actually, it actually almost went all the way in if I didn't hold on to it. And now it's trying to eject it. It like legitimately thinks there's a disc in there. That's awesome. All right, let's try the $20 bill. Yeah, <laughs> it thinks there's a disc in there. Cause listen to this. Yep, that's the eject noise. And you can see it's coming out a little bit. Oh man, well, there, you, there you go guys. I hope you enjoyed this throwback, a foreign disc and experiment type video. Let me know down below if you like these type of videos. And guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.